How's it going y'all? Today we got in the engine and pipe combo that I'm going to be running on the MP10 TKI2 which I have pre-ordered. Hasn't shipped yet but as soon as that thing gets in you will see a video of it. Um, but for now I'm just going to show you basically my first impressions of the engine that I got and my reasons for choosing the brand that I did. But let's get to it. Okay, without wasting any more time, the engine and pipe combo that I have chose to run is from OS. I used to run them back in the day, like the MP777 uh, with the uh, OS V-Spec, great engines. Um, really miss those things. Uh, for whatever various reasons, I kind of went away from them for a while, but we're back. And I'm really, really <laughs> happy to be back running OS um, because I've, I've never had really had any problems with other engines are the engines that I've been running lately, but still, it's nice to see a familiar brand come back and I'm happy with that. Um, but I'm really looking forward to getting back to running OS um, for no particular reason. I do believe these are really great engines um, from what I've seen people say about them. But you know, you know stuff because you know it, so I might as well give it a shot. <laughs> But yeah, I just, and I also picked the Adam Drake uh, because I was a big fan of him back in the day, which is still a big fan of Adam Drake, but I was a big fan of him back when I was running the low C triple uh, XNT. Like, you know, he was the man, so I wanted all the parts he had. But anyway, I'm just going to do like a quick, you know, first impressions. This is my first OS engine since like the V spec um, speed. So it's been a minute. <laughs> But let's get to it real quick. Let's see what this thing looks like. I'm excited. This box is killer. Kyosho, are you listening? Taking notes? Presentation. It's important. Nice box. It's everything. But anyway, let's get this thing open. Alright, I'm going to try to do this one-handed. We'll see. Um, looks very well packed. Nicely packed. Got some instructions. This right here's our engine. I kind of vaguely remember them using this type of little air pack, whatever you want to call it, back in the old engines, the old V specs. And that's really nice. I actually like that. And inside here, I mean, that's pretty safe. I don't think anything's going to damage that. Uh, we got some exhaust gaskets and some plugs. We got some car venturis, a seven. And uh, was it a 6.5? Let me sit you guys down so we can get this thing going. Okay. But, oh, wow. First impressions, this thing looks sick. Um, I love how they've already clearanced the the engine house or the engine casing right there. Um, the Kyosho guys, I'm sure you'll you know you're aware of that. It's an issue. Wow, this thing looks really good. That's sick. Yeah, we're definitely going to be doing, oops, see, just nicely packed. Got some little bubble wrap around it. It's all in plastic. That looks beautiful. I did have like a few issues with like my work stuff. I was getting some, some of my exhaust pipes and the, the lettering wasn't like laser, lasered etched correctly. So it was like half there, half not. And that's no big deal. It's like, it's not hurting the, the pipe itself, but it's, you know, you kind of want it to be nice when you, when you pay so much for this stuff. But I actually did send that back and they they sent me a new pipe, so. Dude, this thing looks beautiful. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Wait, let me get this thing. 
but I'm totally looking forward to running an OS again. The V specs, those things are total rippers. Got some springs. I do see that. I'm kind of bummed about that. I kind of like the fact the uh, the works engine I, I or the works engines that I run they actually have like the short springs you can run on the side right there. I've actually kind of got pretty uh, partial to that. I think that's kind of neat. But it's not a big deal. The OS doesn't have that. Let's see here. I think I have. Yeah, <laughs> I have an old works engine right here. Uh, that's what I'm talking about right there. It's just so you can run a short spring. Um, yeah. But that's no big deal. But yeah, so far this thing looks awesome. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, this thing it's exactly what you'd expect from a, a company like OS. It looks like it's very, very high quality, very nice. And like I said, these ain't no cheap engines. That's another reason I kind of got away from OS. Um, I don't have a lot of money, so for me to spend, you know, six hundred and fifty bucks on an engine and pipe, it's it's kind of brutal. So you're thinking um, a Kyosho kit and an OS engine, you're already into the thirteen hundred dollar range, like easy. So it's 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 expensive. So, but I'm a very, very excited to be running OS again. I used to run a lot of their engines back in the day. Um, so I'm sure this thing is going to be an absolute beast. Um, but like I said, for this, for this new year coming up, I want to be like really, really serious about my racing and competing. So I figured a, you know, a little higher end engine would probably help me out a little bit. Um, so, you know, fuel economy and smoothness and all that stuff. I don't know. We'll see. I'll give you all my impression on it for what it's worth. Um, but if you want to stick around, I'm going to be doing, you know, how to stall clutch and engine braking and all that stuff with this. But, you know, the videos I'm most looking forward to is like I said, the MP10 versus the MP10 TKI2. That car is coming in soon. I'm hoping it's already been pre-ordered. So definitely looking forward to that. Like I said, I promise I will do the, uh, the shootout against the old car. This is my old car. Like I said, it's only been ran once. So just go to the track and uh, throw them out there and see if uh, out of the box, if I can run a faster lap time with the TKI2 than I can with the old MP10 or just the regular MP10. Call it that old. <laughs> but, but all right, guys, like always, I appreciate y'all for watching. Um, like I said, once the weather kind of warms up a little bit, because right now it's like kind of cold and rainy and stuff in our area. But once the weather kind of breaks, uh, we're going to get out and get some track time and stuff like that. So. All right, that's it. I'm getting out of here. Appreciate y'all for watching. See you on the next one.